Tonight, Brian Koberger's childhood friend Thomas speaking to ABC News, describing the Idaho murder suspect as mean in high school, saying Brian was eager to be seen as dominant. He would just like put me in, he would like grapple me and like put me in headlocks and arm bars and stuff like that. Koberger's family releasing a statement which reads in part, first and foremost, we care deeply for the four families who have lost their precious children. There are no words that can adequately express the sadness we feel. We have fully cooperated with law enforcement agencies in an attempt to seek the truth and promote his presumption of innocence. The small community in Moscow terrified for weeks after roommates Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodle, and her boyfriend Ethan Chapin were found stabbed to death in their off-campus home in mid-November. Koberger's lawyer saying Brian's father flew from his home in the Poconos to Washington State for a pre-planned cross-country road trip back home to Pennsylvania for Christmas in that white Hyundai Elantra. Driving cross-country took them approximately two and a half days. Mr. Koberger indicated that Brian was acting normal and not out of character on the drive back from Washington. The car seized from the Koberger's home after Brian was arrested early Friday morning. The Monroe County Chief Public Defender saying Koberger is eager to return to Idaho and be exonerated. Police in Moscow say they're confident they arrested the only person responsible for the murders. Still, they're searching for a murder weapon they describe as a fixed blade knife. The police chief saying the community has a name and a face, and now they're hoping more people will come forward with information. We have a lot of work to do still. Mm -hmm. We still have a lot of pieces we have to put together. That's why we're still asking people, if you have known this individual, contact us. And Chief Fry telling me that within an hour of releasing Koberger's name, more than 400 tips poured in. Koberger's lawyer also confirming to us that he remained there in Pullman working towards his PhD until mid-December. He's now set to face a judge in Pennsylvania Tuesday and is hoping to be quickly extradited to Idaho after that. Kana Whitworth, ABC News, Philadelphia. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.